pulsing, you say? Yeah. The breach itself became unstable. This is what happened whilst you were blowing up the warehouse and getting good friends killed. Lily isn't dead, Mr. Simpson. At this rate, she isn't looking good. I have apologised for this constantly, but why didn't you tell me about this sooner? We haven't exactly had the chance to. Soon after, the explosion took out all the computers and the breach became stable. Something happened on the other side. In my world. Through that breach is your world. Now you tell me what's going on. I need to finish my mission and get back to my world. Hang on. Answer my question. I don't know what's going on, Mr. Simpson. I'm not there. But I can tell you that I will find out. I need to go to London. I need to stop Thorncourt before they rebuild their forces. Now that's something I can agree with. You're going to need help. I know. I tried before to take on Axel Quinton alone. Didn't exactly work out. Oh yeah? And who is this mysterious man then? A Nazi from 1941. Blimey. Are you all time travellers in your world? <laughs> Very funny. No. Only a few. We can supply you with a jeep. That's brilliant. Thank you. Are we a charity now or something? Don't worry. I'll be going with him. You will? Sure. I imagine Jesse will want to come along too. Wait. So I'm expected to allow this? There is no question, Mr. Simpson. I'm going. And how am I supposed to deal with the mess here? We have plenty of technicians. Noah will need the best. I'm going to regret this. Aaron told me what you're doing. I'm doing what I've got to. It's fine. I get it. We're soldiers. In a world that's peaceful, we're not relevant. <laughs> Ironic, really. That we fight for a ceasefire, and the only time we're in use is during the battle. Thanks for your hospitality over the last fortnight. May I ask a favor of you? Sure. There's a girl called Jessie Clark. In my world, her and Leo were together. Until he died. She may not know of his death. Find her. Please. I will, I promise. Thank you. Right. I've got to go. If anyone comes looking for me, I went home. Alright. Bye. Sorry, we hit a pothole. Mm, sure. No worries. Bad dream? Not really. It looked like a bad dream. Just memories, really. Of your world? Yeah. Where are we? We've been driving for about five hours. All of those checkpoints slowed us down massively. But we're about ten miles out from the hotel I've booked for us. What's the plan, Noah? We need to gather as much computer equipment from as many locations during our journey. Why? The grid mainframe. Who? It's the supercomputer that is behind Thorncorp and Quintin Technologies. Quintin what? <laughs> Sorry, wrong world. Nonetheless, it's a supercomputer AI. Axel Quinton built it back in 1941 to beat the British during World War II. It's gathered all possible information over the last 73 years, and now it's ready for a new world order. Then Axel Quinton came forward in time? Yes. That's what the explosion at Thorncourt was all about. The helicopter? Sorry? Um, when the explosion went off... Uh, we saw a helicopter fly towards the explosion. 
We didn't know why. It's more than likely that was for him. Typical weather. Yeah, we have dry weather at the base for weeks. As soon as we drive elsewhere, bloody pours down. What's wrong? Nothing yet, just checking our view from the window. And? We're in Stratford. Not too far away now. That's really close, actually. Depends on the security. Do you have a laptop? Yeah, hang on. So, what do you need it for? I need it to create a computer virus. A what? On an HP laptop? It'll have to do. It's very primitive. What sort of virus, exactly? An Armageddon virus. It will wipe out the grid mainframe. Got any idea of how to make it? I haven't got the foggiest, but got all night to do it. Let me. <laughs> you know? I picked up a few things from Leo regarding coding malware. I used to dig up dirt on people for my journalism. <laughs> Bit shady. Just let me try. Alright, give it a go. Grid mainframe, report your findings from the outer sectors if you please. There is nothing new to report. Nothing? There is nothing new to report. I asked you to perform a task, mainframe. That task has been overwritten. Quentin. It was necessary. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Do you have to play up the whole Nazi front? Apologies. I was taking a moment to rest. And you are not exactly, how you say, quiet. I was having the grid mainframe scan the area around the blast zone. So you did. It has now been three weeks since the explosion. There are other matters to attend to. I don't trust it, Axel. I don't think it was an accident. What do you mean? I've had a forensics team review the area. Blood tests, fingerprint analysis. You get the idea. This is not a necessary move. All form corp sergeants have been removed from the area. You see, that's the thing, mainframe. One blood trace did not belong to a form corp sergeant. Explain. My team is still running the specific tests, but the blood belongs to a human female. Someone else was there. Are there any clones that have gone missing? No. This isn't an Eleanor Simmons case. This female was not the same blood type. Then there is a saboteur. Well, my thoughts exactly. If what you say is true, we must explore that area much more closely. Grid mainframe. See to it. Yes, Quentin. I can take it from here, Axel. Of course, Fawn. If you should need me, I will be with the IT technicians perfecting the operating system. Grid mainframe, what is the purpose of the new operating system? Explain. What does it do? It is a universal computer operating system. It is the fundamental... Open files on grid operating system. I said open files on grid operating system. You do not have authorization to access these files. What are you up to, Axel? Miss Clark. A word. Oh, hi. Are you okay? Yes, I am. But I wanted to ask. Uh, how long do you plan on staying here? Why? Three of you purchase a room and then never leave. It doesn't look good. Oh, it's nothing like that. It's not giving the other guests a good vibe. They have voiced their concerns. Oh, I see. I'm so sorry about that. I'll talk to my friends and see if we can make a change to it. Alright. Uh, 
Hello. I'd like to report some suspicious activity. So, how are things back at the warehouse? Things are good here. Quiet. Just how we like it. Any news on the breach? Any more pulses? None. Whatever happened, it's past now. I have friends over there who should be able to fix it. It should all be under control. Let's hope so. Now, we have someone here who wants to say hello. Hiya? Who? Hey everyone. Lily! You're alright! Yep, a few stitches and some bed rest and I'm alright now. And where are you now then? We've had to shuffle between hotels for the last few weeks to avoid suspicion, but we're doing alright. Lily, I'm sorry for what happened. Not your fault, now. How much closer are you to building the virus, then? Anything I can do to help? No, no. You rest. I'm honestly much better now. I can help. Well, all right, then. From what we've found, there's a very harsh border being placed around central London, which is now being designated the capital. Just like you said. Quite. We're going to need some form of identification to get us in. I can get to work on that. We'll need the highest level possible. To get us into Thorncorp HQ, of course. Yes, and to their scientific sector. Scientific sector? Why? I need to find a piece of technology to help us seal the breaches. An early prototype of an exotic quantum field modulator. Otherwise, even with Thorncorp gone, people from yours and my world will continue to switch between the two. Right. In that case, it's settled. Lily will create the passes for you to enter the capital, whilst you two continue to compile a computer virus to wipe out the Thorncorp company. Sounds good. Great. Speak soon. Good night. Will you know how to use this modulator when you get it? I've got to make a few adjustments on the system's calculations. You kept that one quiet. A good friend gave them to me before I left, that's all. Hey. You are right. Just got some more shopping. How's the call? Lily is back and fighting. Oh, fantastic. I hope she's taking it easy. She insisted that she helps, so... Making us passes to get through the border with ease. <laughs> she never stops. Hey, listen. The owner of the hotel spoke to me. Have we got to move again? Looks like it. I don't think it's a good look when we keep hiding in this room all day. That's what he said. Then we really will have to be more careful. Is he all right? Well, are any of us? I'll go and see if he's all right. Hey. Hey, Jesse. What's up? I was about to ask you the same question. This isn't anything I haven't done before. Then what's the problem? Jason, he... You see, he... I know. But we can't change what happened to him. Once this is over, we can give him a proper goodbye. It's my fault. Wait, what? The breaches. It's all my fault. What do you mean? I'm a time traveller, Jesse. In my world, I went back in time and stopped Thorn Corp from ever existing. Through my actions, this timeline was created. Well, I thought that was obvious. Jason wouldn't be trapped in my world if I didn't create the breaches. You can't change what happened to him. Yes, the fatalities since the explosion have been high, but you can't change it. I, for one, am glad that you even existed in that other world. You forged a new world for everyone. And now, here you are. <laughs> Better late than never, hey? I suppose. Can you hear those sirens? They're getting closer. Get inside. What about you? I'll follow. Go. Stay where you are, or we will shoot you. I'm standing completely still, as you can see. Shut it. The police are here. What? We need to get moving. Can you cause a distraction? Uh, maybe I'll give it a go. We've had a call that there's some suspicious activity going on in your hotel room. Well, what do you say to that? Well, I say that arriving all guns drawn is an overreaction to such a report. 
Oh, <laughs> you're a clever one. I'm going to have to give you to the count of three. And then you're going to tell us what you're up to. We'll just shoot you and find out for ourselves. Since when did British police carry guns? <laughs> Maybe I was wrong about you being so clever. So, three? Hurry up, Hannah. Two? Working on it. One. What the... I'm sure Noah is all right. I hope. I'm all right. Police officers are down. We've got to move. You killed them? No, they're just wounded. Come on. You all right? Yeah. You? Feeling better to be working. Beautiful night, isn't it? Yeah. What are the resistance up to? They're making their move to London. Fingers crossed, they'll all make it. So it's just us? For the foreseeable future? Yeah. Hang on. What the hell is that? Get inside, Lily! Why now? It's Thorncorp. How can we be sure? Who else? We need to pack up and get out of here. Watch me, you're driving! <laughs> Sorry, I've never driven before. Where are we going? We're going straight to the border. People are onto us and now we have to run. Are you sure about this? Nope. Me neither. Fawn is on his way to the warehouse. What? Fawn's at the crater? He wishes to video call with you. Then by all means. Hello, Axel. Fawn, what are you doing? Proving you wrong. <laughs> there is something here. The Tachyon readings are off the scale. Ta... in on? Yes! The energy used to bring you here from the 20th century hellhole to now, it's here! We could be onto something great! You should not be there. Who else is better for the job? <laughs> you! No! No, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> this is my company, Axel. Allow me to take charge. I will contact you when I have something substantial. You are both clashing with one another. This is not acceptable. I know. We must find a way to silence him. <laughs> yes, we must. This is the place. Scan the area and eliminate anybody inside. Yes, sir. Border. It's teeming with Thorncourt sergeants. Hannah, have you got anything? Only another power outage. That'll do. Exit your cars for a full search of your person and vehicle. Hannah! Got it! Now, come on! All of you, stay where you are. Come on, stay with me. We're nearly out the gate. We've tripped the emergency lights. Go! Now! We're through! You three, halt! You have trespassed! You two, get out of here! I'll hold them off! <laughs> There's a car over there! Go! We're going! Kill them! Go! Oh, Hannah! Get in the back with her! Keep driving, Noah. We need to get away. Uh, Hannah. Oh, no. One of them must have been a good shot. Noah, concentrate on driving. Oh. I'll look after her. I've got my laptop with me. Take it. Finish the virus. Uh, and you'll be here with us. Every step of the way. Laptop with me. Take it. I'm here. We'll get all the help she needs. No. No? Why? Finish the mission. Stop them. Oh 
my god. Hannah. Hannah. She's dead. We've got to carry on. But Hannah... We'll give her a proper goodbye when we have time. I know just the place. Ready? But we're surrounded. We'll have to use the breach. What? We'll find our way back. I promise. Now we've got no choice. Come on! Sir? Oh, that is beautiful. What is it? This. This is the key to our salvation. 